Hello? Jerry. Oh, hi, Katie. Listen, something just came up for Tuesday at the Dayton Civic Center. That's Ohio, Jerry. I've heard of Ohio, Katie. But Tuesday's no good. I'm doing career day at my old junior high. Okay, Jerry, that's fine. You all are right. the boss. Okay. Katie works for Jerry. Yes. All right, Katie. <laughs> Sorry for the late you. notice. Yes. Bye. Okay, you're Bye. the... They asked you to do career day? Yeah, it's no big thing. Well, with all due respect, I went there, too, and I worked for a team that just won the World Series. And you were integral. <laughs> Jerry, it was so nice of you to come down here. I'm on next, right? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Amiri from the Bronx Zoo... The, the guy with the lizard. Yes. Well, he started feeding at crickets, and the children just love him, and we're out of time. Ew. So, can you come back tomorrow? I'm getting bumped? You're bumping me from career day? I was career day. Ah, I didn't get on. The lizard guy went long. You got bumped from career day? It was a mix-up, I'm sure. Sounds like they're trying to screw with your head. Now, why would a junior high school want to screw with my head? Why does Radio Shack ask for your phone number when you buy batteries? <laughs> I don't know. Thanks so much for coming back, Jerry. Care for a graham cracker? No, let's just do it. What? What is going on? What, what is that about? Fire drill. Sorry. Single file, everyone. But I was promised the slot. Single file, Jerry. Fire drill. You believe that? Well, it was Pericles. Pericles is correct. Like fire in a school, such a big deal. Hello? Jerry. Oh, hi, Katie. I heard what happened to the junior high. They can't bump you like that. That is so unprofessional. Oh, relax, Katie. It's not a problem. What is borax? Yes, you are right. They bump you in junior high. The next thing you know, you're being bumped in high schools, colleges, trade schools. Before you know it, Letterman's not returning your calls. <laughs> an ashtray. No, I don't have any ashtrays. With cereal bowls. Jerry, now don't freak out. I'll no, take care of Katie, don't. All right, thanks. Oh, there you are. You didn't answer your phone. I was out. Oh. <laughs> Jerry, great news. I got you an assembly. An assembly? Two hours in front of the entire junior high. Grade six through eight. That's sixth grade, seventh I grade. I understand. But what am I going to talk about for two hours? And... It is already in the school paper. They canceled Rick James. Super freak? Yes. So if you like to tell jokes and you love to make people laugh, stand-up comedy may be the career for you. Thank you. Nine minutes. How am I gonna fill two hours? Hello? I could take an hour off your hands. Give the kids the chance to see a real live Yankee. And give you a chance to see some real disappointed kids. <laughs> so you ready for the assembly tomorrow? You know what you're gonna say about the Yankees? Oh, sports are so pedestrian. I prepared some science experiments that will illuminate the mind and dazzle the eye. I wrote a 20 minute bit about how homework stinks. Okay, Jerry, now. When the Glee Club's finished singing, George goes on, then you. Hey. hey. Where have you been? You know, you're on next. I got lost on the way home. Got lost? We went to school here for three years. Who are these? Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh, my God. You had sex. <laughs> you had sex with Louise. No. With the Portuguese waitress. The Portuguese waitress? I calculated my odds of ever getting together with a Portuguese waitress. Mathematically, I had to do it, Jerry. George, George, you're on. Oh, I, I'm not going on. Huh? Then what'd you come down here for? I'll tell you about the Portuguese waitress. <laughs> it's good to have you back. One of you has to go on. All right, I'll do it. Hey, kids. What's the deal with homework? You're not working on your home. 
Thank <laughs> you.